Firmly press the spout into place. By Jim, I think we've done it. Welcome back to Rewind with Be Schwitty because hip hip hooray for Christmas vacation. Happy Black Friday everyone. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. I know I did. And today I really don't want to deal with any of that Black Friday shopping. So I'm just going to wait around until Cyber Monday, maybe go tasting out in Livermore and see what the weekend holds. As you may see, I'm a little bit festive today. Um, we have our sad Christmas tree here. And over the next five weeks, we are going to be looking at some crazy wine gifts that you can get for your loved ones during this holiday season. Personally, I celebrate Christmas, but whatever gift giving holiday that you might celebrate in the coming months, I support it. That's what I'm here to kind of give you the lowdown on what crazy stuff is out there for the wine lovers in your life. Over the next five weeks, including this one, cause hey, it's literally five Fridays until Christmas is here. That's scary. Um, we're gonna see what Santa's left under the tree. Today, we're going to be reviewing Santa's flask, a party flask. Who is this perfect for you may wonder? I got you covered. Santa's flask is perfect for white elephant gifts, sorority sisters, and anyone who enjoys drinking wine out of a bag. Now, I have not used this yet. I have not opened it. Uh, so, let's see what's in store. Nice box, easy to wrap. Um, This baby here holds 2.25 liters of wine, which for those of you who don't use the metric system, that's three bottles. And it's designed to look like a stocking. Comes with a little carabiner clip, which is nice. Uh, you never know when you might need to hang this off of something. And some assembly is required. According to the instructions, we just pour, fill, and party. Um, and it adds instant fun to your parte. Assembly in three easy steps. Remove the foil seal on the plastic cover on the spout. Sanitary. Place the flask on a flat, hard surface with both hands Firmly press the spout into place. By Jim, I think we've done it. It's not going any further. With the flask, or sorry, fill the flask from the wide mouth and screw on the cap. Hang on the clip, hang the clip from anywhere that will support the weight of your party flask. All right. You know, I kind of like how it does actually look like a stocking. It might be fun. Let me go wash this out and see exactly how well it works. All right, let's see how easy it is to fill and use. Well, the wine just goes right in there. And look, it's not spilling all over my table, which is fantastic. Take the lid, throw it on top. All right, let's see how durable this is. No spilling, not, oh, no, it is spilling. Good God. All right, don't hang it upside down. Which I guess is why it, it hangs like this. Um, let's see how how well it pours. It 
seems to pour wine just fine. Like I said, don't flip it upside down because that'll happen. Uh, and it pours with some force, which is nice. If all, if all wine bags were like that, it would be great. All right, now that we've got the initial filling stages out of the way, uh, we're gonna do three product tests to see if it lives up to what it promises on the package. First off, will it hold three bottles of wine? Right here I have three bottles uh, left over, um, filled with water, back up to their 750 milliliter capacity. We're gonna see if this holds the approximate value that it stated. Allons-y. Oh yeah. Oh, and if you are um, filling this, if you've actually purchased this for some reason, make sure you get three bottles of the same wine or else it's just gonna be really weird in there. All right, that's two bottles and it looks like it's over two thirds of the way full. I'm actually slightly concerned for my computer right now. Um, but I'm going to trust the brand and go for it. Nope. Getting too close. Way too close. That's too close. Huh. All right. It actually will hold That's three bottles of wine right there. And it actually looks like a stocking. Isn't that kind of cool? So, will it hold three bottles of wine? Yes, it will. Next test, it says you could hang it. Will it hold? Um, it does say, it does caution you, maybe it's not gonna hold on something weak, but this carabiner that comes with it is just plastic, so I don't know. Will it hold? We're just gonna use one of these drawers back here. Move Mr. Christmas tree out of the way so you can see it. Take the carabiner, clip it on. Would you look at that? It's hanging. It's not falling. Can you hang it? Yes. Finally, the third test. Will it hold all this water? We already saw that if you flip it upside down, it's gonna start to leak out of this cap because it's not watertight up there, but it's not designed to do anything more than hang. So the real test is, I'm gonna have to take you to camera one for this is if it's dropped, will it go ker splat? So test three, we're going to be dropping it from a height, about maybe four feet here. This is my kitchen sink. Please mind the dirtiness. I just wanted to drop it somewhere where it wouldn't, you know, spill three bottles worth of wine. So, three, two, one. Bag appears durable, it's not leaking. There is some strain on it, but let's give it one more drop. <laughs> All right, it survived it. And we're back from test three. All right, so there is some scarring on uh, the side here and on the back. Uh, just kind of a little bit of discoloring from probably the impact. I don't think um, it's going to burst at the moment though. So it's pretty durable. It could survive one or two drops from a couple feet up. And this little sucker stayed on, which I intentionally dropped it so that it would fall uh, nozzle first. Does it pass the durability test? Yes. Final verdict, <laughs> which I'm kind of sad to say. Uh, this is supposed to be a joke gag gift. Um, it passes. 
it, this this did well. Um, if you want this for your holiday party or uh, for someone that would make good use of it, go ahead and buy it. Link in the description below. Not a sponsor, but it is kind of fun. Uh, we'll throw this under the Christmas tree. Uh, bring the Christmas tree back in. I'm kind of surprised. Our first wine Christmas product review, it gets a passing grade. Uh, join us next week where we take on the wine diva. Yeah. No other information other than that. Google it. Uh, please share, comment, like, and subscribe. I really 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 appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit 100 subscribers before the new year that would be really really great um maybe make it a christmas gift for me i don't know enjoy this enjoy your wine enjoy black friday maybe i'll see you out there i definitely won't i'm i'm, I'm wine tasting right now join us next friday wine diva aeration straw a little too much there all right i'll catch you next time this is Rewind with B. Schwitty saying that was my outro.